people, it's me, King Human. Been on a little vacay, but I'm back now, here to educate you. I'm the professor, the guru, the genius. It's going to teach you guys how to make a few extra bucks, or maybe even make a slam dunk living for yourself online. Who knows? But, uh, you know. And is there a catch? Yes, there is a catch. Am I trying to get your money? Yes, I am. I'm trying to get you, there is a price to be paid here, and what I'm trying to get you to do is donate a few bucks to charity, you cheapskate pieces of shit, you. So, uh, okay. And my favorite charity is St. Jude's Research Hospital for Kids. Any charity that helps kids is okay with me, but, you know, if you make a few bucks with what I give you, kick it on up. Even if you don't make a few bucks, do the right thing, you punks. Okay, today's lesson, today's education is going to be a lesson in what you can do with the right product if you just use some marketing sense. And uh, what I'm talking about is specifically, I, I recently bought a new MacBook Air for my trip because I didn't want to schlep my heavy MacBook. So I went to the store and bought the light one. I can do that. Get off my ass. So I wanted to get a silicone keyboard cover for it. Check this out. This is what I found. Booyah. Okay, class, wake up. I want to show you some things here because uh, we can learn a lot from this uh, example. This is a real world example of what's going on. And uh, I came across it. Well, recently I bought a new iPad, uh, not an iPad, a uh, MacBook. And uh, I wanted a new uh, keyboard cover for it, silicone keyboard cover to keep it clean and nice. And I, came, I Googled for a silicone keyboard cover and this site popped up. And this guy's selling them from $25 a piece all the way up to $35 a piece. I kind of like this green one. And I know, I'm looking at this item and I'm going, wow, this guy's getting 35 bucks a piece for these things. And I know they got a cost about maybe a buck fifty each. So sure enough, I go to my sourcing site in China and I come up with this guy. This wasn't even the cheapest guy. This was the first guy I came up with. And he's selling them for $3.36 a piece in lots of 50. So, uh, you know, it's the same damn product. You can get any color you want. Uh, I guess it comes boxed in that box, um, point of purchase boxes, whatever. Um, and I know I can get this for about a buck and a half a piece because uh, with a little bit more shopping and a few emails, I can get the price down on this to about a buck fifty a piece. And it's free shipping too. So there you go. So that's a buck from a buck fifty to thirty-five dollars a piece. That's that's some zippity doodah right there, man. Um, so okay, let's go back to me live, and we'll talk about what this means and what we can learn from this. Okay, so what have we learned from that? This you're taking a dollar fifty item and selling it for I don't know what what was it thirty five forty bucks. It's crazy. But, you know, here's the thing. I've been trying to teach you guys how to make money in several ways. Writing an ebook on something, making websites and flipping websites, selling products on eBay. This example, although I'm not telling you to do this specific thing, this is a great example of how you can take something like this and do all three of these things. If I were going to if I were going to jump on this, but I'm not because I don't need to, I would write an ebook about it. You know, how to make money finding products that you can resell for a lot of money. And I would use this in the ebook as a real world, real world example. And uh, I would also make a website just like that schmuck did and sell that website as a turnkey business on Flippa. And I've talked to you guys about this over and over again. It's great money. When I first started, my first day of making websites and flipping them, I was making $400 an hour. 
because it took me two hours to make a website and I sold my websites were selling for 800 bucks. The first website I sold sold for 800 bucks and it only went up from there. 400 bucks an hour no matter how you slice it. That ain't hey brother. And the third thing is you can take an item like this and sell it on eBay. Now you take this item and try to sell it on eBay, it's going to be a little bit tougher because there are a lot of people on eBay selling this really cheap, that specific item. I personally, when I look at something like that, I don't worry about what everybody else is doing because I know I can do it better than they are. They may have a cheaper price, I don't care. I can sell it. Um, if you're not that good at eBay, maybe this type of thing wouldn't work for you. But you could write an ebook about this. You know, hey, this is how you find great items to resell. Use this as a real world example. Expand on it some way. I mean, I'm not going to go and give you every little kernel. This is a class. You're going to have to think for yourself. The big thing that I would do with this is exactly what this schmuck did make websites of these products. And I wouldn't just have a keyboard cover website. I would have all kinds of support products for MacBooks and, and all of that stuff. And you can get it all at the same source. If you can't make a website yourself, you can find somebody willing to make you a website very, very cheaply. And I'll, I'll talk about that later. It, it's going to take a whole nother uh, video. But there you go. And then I would put that website up for sale on Flippa. And even if it only sold for a couple of hundred bucks. Now, you got to understand, when I put a website up on Flippa or eBay or anywhere, any of these places that sell turnkey websites, you got to understand how to market that website. Now, I'm going to show you how I would do it, which is I would tout the fact that I've got an item that cost me $1.50 and it's selling for $35 or $39 a piece on the website. And I would make sure that I had clients before I listed the website for sale. And, you know, I would say this isn't a stupid affiliate website where you're only making a small commission and you're trying to get millions of people to click on links just so you can get a few pennies. This is a website where you own the product. I'll give you the source where you can go and buy this for $1.50 and you're selling it for $35 a piece and you're collecting you're keeping 100% of that profit margin, which is huge. And people get all warm and runny over that prospect. Now they're not working for pennies. They're buying a website that makes has a great profit margin item. And they go for that. And even if your website only sells for a few hundred bucks, it took you, well, it should take you maybe, maybe two hours to make that website if you're as inept as I am. Once you get it made and you've got that website template, you can remake that website over and over again with a different domain name and sell it over and over again. Uh, you know, make the website look different. You know, you're not selling an exclusive website here. You're selling a website, a business, just like, just like a franchise. You know, franchise people don't, <laughs> don't sell just one of them. They sell tons of their franchises, and that's how they make money. Anyway, I wanted to show you this because I want you guys to think, when you see something like this, exactly what I did. I just came across something, you know, it was an item that I thought, wow, I want to buy one of these things. I googled for that silicone keyboard cover and found a guy selling them. The first guy I found, he was selling them for 35 or 39 bucks, whatever the hell it was. I went, what? That looks like a dollar fifty item to me. So I did my research and I found it for three bucks. And I can get them for a buck fifty. So I know I mean look at the huge margin there. And it gets my gears turning. It tells me, oh wow, okay, I could write a whole ebook about this and sell that ebook. I can make websites about this and sell those websites. And I might even be able to actually buy the physical product and resell them on eBay and try and, you know, do combat with these other guys selling this crap on eBay. But, uh, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of a tougher arena. Anyway, I want you guys to think. That's the point. Think. I'm not telling you to go out and buy this stuff. 
I'll give you the links to these exact things down there. The exact website I found and the exact supplier I found are going to be down in the description. But again, this should lead you to other things, class. This is not me telling you to do this. This is me telling you to look at this as an example and get your juices flowing, think creatively, and I got a lot more stuff coming, real abstract creative stuff. You got to keep coming to my class and donate a few bucks to charity, you pikers, you. Okay, have a good holiday weekend. I'm going to go barbecue. I'm out of here. Booyah!